it's a jolly wet day here in jolly old Winston-Salem and we've got two lovely bakers who are ready to compete for you we're up to our first and final round and these bakers are going to get cooking because they're making cookies I call this one cookie sometimes oh. okay bakers for your last technical challenge Paul and Mary would love you to make please chocolate chip Cookies, the classic, the classic. All the all the people all over the globe, they love it. And all of our various contestants with various expertise and backgrounds, it will be a challenge for all of them. We can guarantee it. Because none of us are American and we can't remember what the recipe is like, eh? Paul and Mary, any advice? Don't muck it up. Right, you heard the man. Don't muck it up. All right, Paul and Mary, off to your soft playpen area now. Ta-ta! Ready, bakers? On your marks? Get set. Bake! It says make a chocolate chip cookie dough. Make a chocolate chip cookie dough. Bake. There could not be less clear instructions of what we're doing today. What are the ratios? How do I even mix in a bowl? We're not baking in the great Winston baking show. Hannah spends her time putting together and taking apart <laughs> the jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> she also enjoys reading, rock climbing, ordering shoes off the internet, and wishing that she had a cat. I've decided to start with uh, butter. I don't want to, I hate dishes, so I don't want to use more than one bowl. So I pop this in for a jiff, get some melted butter as the first thing in my <laughs> bowl. And then I'll, <laughs> that, was, that was right quick. I didn't intend, didn't intend that. Uh, it's been a mess of a day, very rainy, wasn't anticipating being in this tent, don't know how I got here. They say I'm one of the best amateur bakers in this world, but <laughs> I haven't even seen what a chocolate chip cookie looks like before, so I'm right on the edge of breaking down. Gotta get this butter melted though, that'll set me more at ease. Melted butter always sets me at ease. Right. Grace McMullen, living somewhere in an ambiguous Europe, takes solace in her large DVD collection, as well as her limitless hobbies, which include miming, taking a jog, <laughs> and running a march. <laughs> I've never eaten a chocolate chip cookie, I've never seen one. I'm not really sure what they're supposed to taste like. Just see what it ends up looking like. Oh, got this shell in there. What part of England do you think I'm from with this accent, eh? Where we're going. Yeah, so... You got an egg. Oh, whippy, I've, whippy in here. We've got a whippy egg in there. An egg. Um, I think I'm gonna start with the flour next. I'm not totally oh, sure. Oh, the flour if that's next. the right way to go. Um... And I'm not totally sure how much to put in, so... Oh, you seem that you're at a good spot, so I'll just leave you to it then. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I think next we'll go with a bit of sugar. Uh, I know that butter and sugar are two of the best things, and I think you start with the best bits. That's how it just goes. Uh, that's what my, my gran always said, start with the best bits. Don't know. <laughs> Nice and mixed. Oh bollocks, we did too much. Too much flour. How are we gonna sort this? Um another egg, maybe. Or maybe some butter. Or melt some butter. Shouldn't put it in the flour. The next thing people might be using this flour for. It's a little in a cup. Just a smidgen of flour. Just want to thicken up what I've got now. I just want to do little by little as I don't know what my ratios are because 
the instructions were vastly ambiguous. Only made that butter for you. <sighs> your madness. No, there's not. And my batter is not batter. Well, it is batter. That's the problem. I need mm. it to be dough and it's more like batter. Do you think that'll be a problem? I think it will be a problem. I kind of want to let it be able to be balled up in my hands and then like onto the sheet. Um, and so I'm trying to get it less sticky, but honestly, I have no idea. They call me the matriarch of biscuits. Have you Paul, look away. ever made chocolate chip cookies before? No, Paul. Does it show? No, no, I didn't say anything. I was just looking. Uh-huh. Don't look at me with those eyes, Paul. Those steely blue eyes. I'm just doing my best, Paul. <laughs> Help me, Paul! <laughs> Alright, definitely looking a bit more like, like what I think uh, cookie dough should look like. I'm just gonna add a splash of vanilla. I think it'll give it a nice little pop. And then we're gonna pop it in the oven. 10 minutes, bakers. You have 10 minutes. Just we 10 minutes. You said 10. 10. 10. All right, they're going in. I was thinking that I might not have put enough sugar in, so we're just doing a little dusting here. I'll just say, you know, six minutes, and just see what happens after that. See how it goes. spreading a bit more than I'd like, but I do think that there's maybe hope. Two minutes, bakers, two minutes. Dos minutos, bakers. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a cookie cake. That's all right. Who doesn't love a cookie cake, eh? Look at that. A bit of golden brown, a bit of sugar. It's all right by me. And the tops are still looking raw. Um, I can't say for certain, but it. Oh, oh my gosh. They're really hard. Just one minute, bakers, until your cookies are crumbled. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they hopefully they crumble. All right, they're coming out. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Look at them. I think they taste brilliant. They smell really good. It did make almost too much sense. It hurts that they would turn, my chocolate chip cookies would just be biscuits. So I do believe it's time for me to take them out. Oh, Paul. Running out, of, running out of British curse words now. What else do we say? Bollocks. Uh, crap on a stick. There we go. Three cookies for you, Paul. <laughs> okay, so. What we were looking for here was a nice, evenly baked chocolate chip cookie, and this is what we've been presented. Right, um, should we start over here, Paul? Ah, uh, sure, sure. Um, so here we have a pretty hard cookie. There's an overbake around the edge and a little bit of an underbake in the center there. Very pale on the top, Paul. Very, very pale. Very uneven. Cheers. Cheers. The texture's not terrible, but what does it remind me of? It's almost 
cake like rather yes. than a cookie. Right, so on to the next one. On to the next. Paul, what what can we say about these? You know, they're fairly thin. Fairly, I would say, quite <laughs> practically paper thin. No no real texture at all to speak of inside. Yes. Well, this is not at all what we looked for in terms of the look of them, but shall we have a taste? We shall. We shall. Mm. Quite chewy. The flavour is nice. It may just be a, a coin flip. A coin flip? Possibly. Much to discuss, so all right. we'll let them know soon. Right, my lovely bakers, you've all done exceptionally well. You've made it this far. And I have the really lovely job this week of announcing Star Baker. And our Star Baker this week, I'm pleased to announce, is... Grace, you're our Star Baker this week. Congratulations, darling. And that means I have the most unfortunate job of letting go of one of our precious, precious bakers. So. As much as it pains me to say it, the person who is leaving us this week is Hannah. So sorry. Ah, uh, I feel great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my cookies were absolute rubbish, but I'm glad that the the judges must have just seen the flavour. I really don't know how I managed to scrape this one, so. Well, really pleased, yeah? Yeah, no, I'm I'm okay, really. I, I'm just grateful for the experience and yeah, it's just, it's okay. It's okay, I'm really just happy. Mum, I got Star Baker. 